Today we're going to make a felt and leather bag. I cut a piece of industrial felt to use as the body of the bag. Actually, this is the second piece I cut because the first piece I cut was too small, but that's okay because this design is scalable and you can make whatever size bag you want. I also cut a piece of leather that will be the outside pockets of the bag and it'll also protect the bottom of it to make it a little bit more durable. I cut four pieces from the same leather to use as straps and then laid all the pieces out on the table very nicely. On the piece that I'm using for the bottom, I scored a line down the very center and two lines a quarter of an inch in from each side. These are going to be my stitch lines. I used a leather hole chisel to mark where all my stitches would be. This is going to make it a lot easier to keep my stitches straight and uniform and honestly it's just so hard to stitch through leather without punching those holes first. I then repeated these same three steps to make the dividers for the pockets. I marked center on the felt and hand stitched the leather to it. For hand stitching leather, you need two needles and one piece of thread. While it does take a fair amount of time, it's as easy as following the whole pattern. Push one needle through each side and then pull the thread taut. It's going to take a while to finish this stitching, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Fracture. Fracture can take your favorite photos and print them directly onto glass. Just go to FractureMe.com and you can upload files directly from your computer or you can access them through your Instagram account. I ordered prints of some of my favorite memories since I've been in Joshua Tree. Normally I would take advantage of Fracture's beautiful black and white option, but the vividness of the desert seemed to demand their vibrant color prints this time around. The result is a high resolution print that doesn't need to be framed since the picture is printed directly onto the back of the glass. You can select from a variety of different shapes and sizes and Fracture sends them right to you. Another really cool and convenient feature is that they're ready to hang straight out of the box. Not only do they provide you with a screw to hang it on, but the glass photo itself has a mounting slot on the back. So, all you have to do is attach the screw to the wall and hang the glass photo directly on it. To learn more about Fracture, click the link in the description box below. Holding all the layers together while stitching them can be a bit of a trick, so I first used a squeezy clamp, and then I switched to knee clamps. With the bag all stitched together, I switched over to the straps. I marked roughly two inches up from each of the ends of the strap pieces. I then used leather weld to glue the straps together in pairs and leave the ends free. At least, that was the plan. I actually forgot on the first set and I had to cut new straps. Once again, I scored lines and I punched holes. I stitched all the way up each side of the strap while still leaving the ends free. For the bag to strap connection, I sandwiched the felt in between the two free ends of the leather and then sewed through all three pieces. I placed the first strap by centering it with the pockets and I placed the second strap by lining it up with the first. For more detailed information, check out our website. And if you want to see what I'm up to next, follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.